Hey guys, Kevin here. I am back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a pretty, pretty crazy video. I have a comprehensive footwear guide for Fear of God Adidas Athletics. If you guys don't know, Jerry Lorenzo, creator of Fear of God, has partnered up with Adidas or Adidas to create essentially a sub brand underneath Adidas as well as Fear of God. Um, and that is dubbed athletics. It's supposed to be something akin to Y3 where it's supposed to be continually releasing and it's not just a one-off collaboration. Uh, they are both very dedicated to each other according to both Adidas and uh, like Jerry Lorenzo of Fear of God. They both are working extremely hard to do a multi uh, year long partnership essentially where it's not just a collaboration. Uh, today I am going to be talking about all of the footwear so that ranges from the Adilet all the way to the Basketball One. Uh, so if you guys enjoy this sort of content, I do a lot of footwear, a lot of fashion news, etc. and a lot of reviews of cool stuff. Um, so if this is your first time, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more stuff like this as well as follow me on Instagram at Kevin.IMG. So yeah, without further ado, let's talk about the cheapest of the collection, the Adilet. So the Adilet comes in this small sort of box and I will also be giving size recommendations as well as a variety of things such as fit, etc., on feet. So the entire collection comes as like essentially a two layer construction like this where it has this sort of outer shell with the size tag and then comes with an inner sort of top lid box. The entire collection has this nice Adidas Fear God sort of looking thing. And there, I'm not sure if it's plastic, but it feels almost metallic since it's very cold to the touch, these three stripes. Um, and right here it says Fear of God, Adidas, and there we go. Comes in a tonal brown paper that says Fear of God, and here is the the Adilet. So for the Adilet, Jerry has been seen wearing a European exclusive version uh, for quite some time now and in an interview with Complex, he really said that he didn't really change much. So it is essentially a leather molded insole. The entire unit is made from Italy, I believe. That's yeah, on the bottom it says made in Italy. It is a micro suede up top with small leather detailing. I forgot what the style code was, but I'll put it up somewhere over here. Uh, that was the model that this was based off of and he essentially just said that he didn't change pretty much like anything. The only thing that he changed is adding a fear of God on the bottom side. As you can see right here, the micro suede right here and these leather three stripes. So talking about sizing, I would recommend if you're in between sizes, if you're an eight and a half, go up to a size nine, especially if you have wider feet. These fit very, very small. There is something to be said about the European Adilet where design-wise it is an iconic design, but at the same time, you have to keep in mind that this is a slide. So it's not necessarily gonna be super, super comfortable, but it isn't going to be terrible either. So this comes in at $110, and I believe this is available on Adidas Confirmed. It's gonna be available at tier zero Adidas like retailers, as well as on Fear of God's website as well. This is the most accessible price. Something that I will mention, since I haven't seen like other people mention it, is that as soon as you get this out, oh, as soon as you get this out of the box, there is some off gassing. So it has a very, very strong paint smell or could be glue smell, but it is very, very, very strong. So I got this in a men's size seven. I didn't realize that it was gonna fit so small. Uh, and so this is going back to Adidas. Um, I would need to get at least a size nine or at least a size eight to make it work, but size seven is just way too tight. So that's why I do recommend if you're in between sizes, please do size upwards. Next up is the Los Angeles. So this is the Adidas Athletics Fear of God Los Angeles. If you guys don't know, the Adidas Los Angeles is a retro running sneaker. It wasn't extremely popular, but it is sort of like a mid-tier running sneaker. Uh, this is priced at 170 so this is the next cheapest and actually the cheapest sneaker that is a part of the collection so far. So again, that slide-out sleeve with that same Fear of God 
Athletics Adidas logo, and here the shoe is. So, the shoe itself comes with an extra pair of laces, a cream pair of laces, and pretty much that's about it. I believe the 86 and the Runner are the only shoes that come with extra laces. So here it is. The Los Angeles Runner is currently a FearOfGod.com exclusive, as well as an exclusive to the Los Angeles Atmosphere pop-up. So here the Fear of God Los Angeles Runner is. So the upper is primarily composed of a pretty nice quality suede. It's a fairly short-haired suede as well. The outer panels are of a extremely soft ripstop material, which if you guys know, like ripstop material is essentially a nylon fabric that has weaves of reinforcement throughout. So whenever there could be a rip that happens, they have an additional layer to stop the ripping in place to essentially rip stop. On the toe, there is an Adidas logo right there. On the back, there is a Fear of God little back tab. The sole of the runner is quite interesting as this little divot definitely is from the original Los Angeles runner shape where that also had this divot, but not as exaggerated. Tonal laces, nice quality laces as well. There is a lace lock or lace toggle right there with the three stripes. The entire tongue is made out of that same pretty soft leather as well as the backside as well. The ankle is relatively nicely padded actually and for this shoe I actually personally think it is the most comfortable out of the batch. The bottom also has a very interesting sole where it is just a complete waved sole very very interesting very organic looking the insole let me take that out so the insoles of all of the shoes are going to be micro suede you guys can see and it says adidas la marquee o, o three bands so i'm assuming it means the brand with the three stripes so yeah it is a very very interesting almost retro runner so let me set the Los Angeles runner right up here while we talk about the next pair. The next pair was actually created when Jerry Lorenzo had originally taken up the mantle for Adidas basketball. This is the Athletics 86 Low, which is based off of the classic Adidas rivalry. The color that I got for this one, I know that there are currently three colors out right now. This one is the Talc, T-A-L-C. So here it is, the 86 Low. At the Fear of God fashion show at the Hollywood Bowl, they did show off an 86 High, which I'm pretty excited about. But this shoe also comes with a spare pair of laces, a lighter color to the upper, more akin to the midsole and here the shoe is the entire shoe is essentially a flooded gray suede very very nice gray suede all of the suede that was used for the low top models are quite nice um, they are also all relatively short haired so they're not super super fuzzy and they do keep sort of clean edges uh, you can see on the exterior it is all that suede one of the most interesting and i think cool parts about a lot of fear of god products is that all of the edges sort of have that sort of finished line so that it slopes down very nicely jerry lorenzo did mention that his competition slash inspiration for this model is the air force one where he wanted to create his own version of it as well as just making it better and he thinks this is in direct competition to it on the back, there's the Adidas Originals Trefoil logo that is stamped into the suede. The bottom, Fear of God, back plate, all of this. I believe on the original rivalry, this is supposed to be a sort of a, a foam material, a polyurethane foam material, but here it's just essentially just all hard rubber. On the bottom has that herringbone traction as well as it has that same sort of tonal lace toggle as well as tonal laces from the upper suede as well. The collar is lined with a suede. Another thing to note is that the tongue of this shoe is actually quite well padded. So the tongue is actually suede on both sides and they're 
relatively nicely padded. It doesn't come up too much, so it kind of gives it that streamlined look. I think this shoe is definitely one of the highlights of the collection. I think it looks very, very nice. And I don't think you have to go full fear of God to make this shoe look nice. So in terms of comfort, the 86 Low is probably the least comfortable of the models that I've shown so far, or I guess just in general. There is very minimal cushion in this. Most of the cushion that you are gonna be getting is from the insole, and the insole isn't anything too too crazy or anything like that. I don't think that they use any sort of like an in like an ortholite insole or anything. I personally think that this is mainly for looks and definitely is that sort of Air Force One sort of vibe. This also retails at $200, so that is also something you have to keep in mind where the quality of this is really nice, but so is the retail price is quite elevated. So setting this aside, and then let's talk about the highlight of the uh, initial release, in my opinion. The highlight of the project is the Adidas Basketball One. So I didn't feel like putting the sleeve cover on this, but it essentially looks like all the rest. It comes in quite a massive box, even though uh, my size isn't the largest, but here it is. This is the Adidas Fear of God Athletics Basketball One in the sesame carbon colorway. So talking about the shoe, this is the Fear of God as well as the Atmosphere Los Angeles exclusive. They are still available online, but I believe through third party retailers will be getting the carbon carbon version. This is a very interesting first introduction into what Fear of God Athletics is going to be. So talking about the outside, it has very, very big predator inspiration where these look like the retro predator cleats as well as even some of the modern predator cleats sort of have this three lacing system with that aggressive slanted side. It has a very low profile sort of shape, very sculpted at the toe where it's that very slooped down look. The upper collar is a neoprene look. I know some people were saying it is an adipreme. It is not the same thing. An adipreme is a cushioning system. This is just a neoprene. The upper also consists of a mesh, but it is a reinforced mesh where there is like a no stitch TPU film that goes over right around here and then stops. There's roughness and then this is smooth. You can also see that around the ankle there is a bungee system to close up the ankle system a little bit as well as there is this lace toggle that is reused also in the apparel. Another thing to talk about is that this whole toe area is sort of reinforced with a no stitch sort of TPU film. So I believe this will be water resistant. It'll just bead off as well. The laces are a thick rope style lace that are finished with this sort of plastic cover. The tips are sort of finished, as you can see a little bit. You can also see that same lace toggle, tonal lace toggle with the Adidas three stripes. Another thing to keep in mind is that some people have been getting this incorrect. They said they don't know what the cushioning is this is actually the adidas light strike so adidas uses light strike in a lot of their running models and then they are saying that this will provide superior comfort but i'll talk about the actual comfort of it later on on my opinion section of it something that i think i should mention in case you guys are curious about the differences between the sesame as well as the carbon carbon the sesame has a slightly yellowed off-white uh, outsole and midsole while the Carbon has that sort of white white outsole so you can kind of see a little bit I'll put up a picture right over here somewhere. This shoe does not come with any additional laces It is just the black laces that are laced up that are going to be for this shoe now that that's over with Let's talk about my opinions on all these models. I know I mentioned it a little bit before but in terms of comfort, I think it'll be categorized like this where I believe the Los Angeles runner is actually a pretty comfortable runner. The upper is very warm. It sort of hugs your foot very nicely, as well as the cushioning, although it's not light strike or any crazy advanced technology, it does feel nice, does feel supported. The 
Basketball One, although it does have light strike, for a lot of foams, they need a way to compress in order to give you that energy return. And because this is a rubber cup sole without any sort of holes at the bottom, since it's just a full herringbone traction, you are kind of left with a cushion that is really good, but there's no way to expand it. The way that Adidas is able to solve it with maybe some other models, I'd like to mention the Yeezy Quantum, is that they had a little window at the bottom where it could compress outwards. Uh, while this one, it is a complete rubber cup sole with no ways for the foam to squish and expand. So it is comfortable enough in terms of cushioning, but it could have been more comfortable maybe giving it a few holes at the bottom or some other clever way to allow the light strike to compress and expand. And last but not least, the 86 Low. The 86 Low is a rubber sole it is very very hard not the most comfortable but if you are used to things like a samba or if you're used to things like a stan smith it is going to feel very very in line with it the only slight difference is that this is going to be a bit heavier because the rubber is quite thick so another thing to mention is sizing the sizing of this release was quite hectic uh, for the people who were at the Atmosphere event, they weren't allowed to try on the sizes, as well as if you purchase from fearofgod.com, all of the footwear was final sale. So that immediately causes people to have questions, and a lot of people are holding off uh, before making their purchase until videos like this come out or until they are able to see it in person. So my foot measures in between an eight and an eight and a half. A lot of the times I can size to an eight, uh, but I do have a wider foot, so that is where that caveat comes in. In Jordans, I can wear an 8 to an 8.5, uh, like depending on how much room I would want. I do like to have a little bit of room, so that is where that sort of difference comes. Another thing to note is that for a Yeezy Boost 350, I'm typically a size 9, and even that is a bit more form-fitting to the toe. Uh, but with that, because it is a knit upper and it does stretch a little bit, I'm okay with a nine or a nine and a half. So with that in mind, uh, for the 86 low, I recommend going true to size. So I go a size eight or an eight and a half with this. Um, with the 86 low, initial reports were that they fit narrow. So that's why I picked up a size nine. And unfortunately, this is slightly big. I can make this work by putting another insole into it, which is sometimes what I do when I size up and then shoes don't fit. I just slip another insole in and then that pretty much fixes the issue. But if you guys don't wanna have to do that, I recommend going true to size, whatever your classic size is. So for a Samba, I get an eight. Well, for a Samba, I get an eight and a half, but for a Campus, I get like a size eight. For like a Gazelle, I get like a size eight. Uh, so I would recommend going your absolute true to size with this. With the Los Angeles Runner, I would also recommend the same thing. This Los Angeles Runner is a lot more forgiving. So for those that want a sort of one-to-one -one fit, you might even be able to get away with sizing down half a size. Um, but I do recommend going true to size. If you really, really want that snug fit, go down half a size. But this is actually the most comfortable one as well as the one that is most wide foot friendly. So I do recommend true to size for this one as well. Now, for the most annoying one, this is the most annoying shoe to kind of size for as it really depends on the width. So story is that I purchased this in a size nine initially, and then I did get it and I tried it on and then I walked around a little bit on it and it would pinch right around the first lace hole. It would pinch the outer of my foot, both feet actually, and it would pinch, 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 and it would kind of rub against, and like by the time I take it off, it's like really, really red on the outside. So I was kind of just like, what the heck? Lengthwise, it fit fine, a size nine, which is already half the size for my true to size. So I ended up getting a nine and a half, which is a full size out from my true to size, and this fits fine. My toe ends right here, but the width of it was really what I was worried about. The width of this shoe is quite narrow as well as it slopes down a lot. So if you do have a wide foot, I potentially recommend even going up a full size. If your foot is true to size, I recommend going up half a size 
but if you have really really narrow feet or if you are okay with your feet feeling quite constricted and kind of like tight maybe go true to size it really does depend uh, this is the one shoe that I would recommend maybe even you purchasing at Adidas or maybe purchasing at a tier zero place where you're able to get returns as this is the most annoying shoe but personally I I love the aesthetics of the shoe but the sizing is the worst to deal with really now let's talk about the collection as a whole in terms of footwear I think this is an interesting start if you guys haven't watched my video about the fear of God athletics brand and the whole discussion I'll leave a link in the description as well as I'll put a card up here but I do talk about what happened when the brand was created and the whole process and what happened over the course of the three years that this project was being made I had a few comments over there but just to summarize I felt like this release was made to satisfy Adidas as Jerry keeps mentioning in a few interviews that the next release and the next drop is going to be performance related and more of the the Adidas athletics that he wants to have while a lot of these are sort of a lifestyle drop and the initial kind of testing the waters he also states that this project was a bit more expensive than initially anticipated and that Adidas and Fear of God are not making any profit from this first drop of shoes. So he did mention they aren't making any money on the shoes, but the clothing, he didn't really mention that. But on the shoes, they are just trying to recoup the cost of production and the development cost of the shoe. So that's understandable, but at the same time, 250 for this, 200 for this, and 170 for this. So with that in mind, I think it's not extremely out of the norm to be paying $250 for a pair of shoes like this, especially if you compare some of the more recent, the dropped Jordan releases like the Ama Manye uh, Jordan 5. I feel like that at 225 plus shipping, plus tags, plus like whatever raffle BS that they're gonna drop, like all of that included, I think the price of that is very comparable to this and this is a new silhouette. So you wanna keep that in mind as well. Personally, I think the basketball one, especially if you can get your perfect size or correct size, I think the basketball one is an amazing shoe. I think this shoe can fit a lot of different aesthetics, can fit a lot of different vibes. So my opinion of the entire collection in terms of which shoes are really my favorite, the Los Angeles Runner, I initially thought that this was just gonna be another throwaway model, but this actually snuck up and I actually really, really like how this wears. Uh, this feels really nice on foot. This doesn't feel clunky, doesn't feel super chunky. I am a huge, huge fan of the Los Angeles Runner. Honestly, really, really good model. I did hear that they are planning on releasing multiple different colors this upcoming year. So keep out for the Los Angeles Runner. And these two are actually kind of tied for second place. So the reason why these two are tied for second place, honestly, is because I like them, but for different reasons. I like the basketball for the technology as well as the soccer influence because this just looks super, super killer. I love how he's able to kind of create that like aggressive shape and that predator shape on a basketball sort of fusion lifestyle model. In terms of performance, I don't necessarily know how well this is gonna do on court, but in terms of a lifestyle model, I think this looks absolutely killer. And to be fully honest, I think the carbon looks terrific as well. I think the carbon and the sesame are really complementary of each other. And I actually like both of those models more than the all white or the all cream model that he teased last year. Uh, for the 86 low, I really like it for the quality as well as this fits perfectly into a lot of people's wardrobes where this can easily swap in and out of an all white runner or an all white basketball shoe like the Air Force One, except this is an elevated, more refined take of that same sort of category. I think the 86 low, although it is a little bit expensive at $200, I think this will far outlive 
any Air Force One. You might even be able to get two or three Air Force Ones out of this. And that sleek down shape is going to work beautifully where this gives it that elevated sort of look. I will do an on foot of all of these guys with different sort of pants to give you guys an idea as well as some sort of like outfit sort of things. I'm also going to be doing a video on the Fear God Athletics apparel. Um, I ordered three of the pants to give you guys sizing advice because personally I thought the pants were the best of the collection. I will link that also in the description or put the card out here. I'm trying to get both of them out at the same time so that you guys can kind of move back and forth. So I also do want to mention the slides really quickly. I am not a big fan of the slides. I think it was a little bit lazy and I don't understand the reason why Fear of God felt the need to release an already existing Made in Europe slide to this amount as well as charge it charge like $50 more because that slide that he was wearing and that took inspire or that was the inspiration of the fear of God he let was a European exclusive that went on sale quite frequently and that you can't even find it for like 30 40 dollars actually so I think that is personally the worst of all of these because it feels uninspired unneeded and feels sort of like a cash recoup and that's when he says that adidas and fear of god aren't making any money off of the shoes i think that shoes includes these but doesn't include the slides as like a sort of sneaky way of getting around it i can believe him when he says that fear of god is not making any money any profit off of any of these shoes they're just recouping the development cost but for the slide I, I i can almost guarantee you that they're making like three times profit on that and i think personally it's the worst of all of it and i think you should rather just pick yourselves up like a pair of like easy slides or even a pair of crocs or salehi crocs for half the price a third of the price even so yeah that's my opinion so let me know what you guys think of all of these do you guys like it? Do you guys not? I think this, these are a very strong lifestyle contender. Jerry again has mentioned that he wants this to be a performance brand and so far it feels a little bit more lifestyle. So that suits myself, but for his vision, he says that the next footwear model that is going to be coming out is a performance model. So I am looking forward to it. Uh, he did tease a sort of moccasin high top as well as the rivalry high or the 86 high I should say. So let's see what happens and yeah let me know which of these is your favorite and let me know if you guys have any questions I'll be in the comments trying to address everything. So yeah I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Accepted.